So this summer, I thought it would be awesome to face one of my fears. And that fear was the fear of water. So I thought I'd learn how to surf. So I went down to Folly Beach and uh, I went surfing. And it was awesome. And I went back to Folly Beach and I surfed again. I was facing my fears, everything was great, until whack, I got hit in the head with the surfboard. Yeah, not good. Um, I knew it was kind of bad. I had a giant lump that turned into this beautiful black eye and um, I was definitely out of it, didn't feel right. But I didn't think it was that big of a deal. So I came back to Asheville and I gave myself about a week and I came back to the gym and I said, all right, let's try this. That didn't go too well. I went to the other gym. That didn't go too well. So I gave myself another week and uh, I wasn't getting the results that I wanted. I wasn't feeling too great. And I really, it was so uncomfortable not being able to train, not being able to work out. And after a few weeks, I realized that I wasn't going to be able to work out like I wanted to. So I threw myself into work because maybe I could just do that, right? So I started working a lot. And then two months, about two months after the injury, mm -hmm. I realized that things were not going very well. I couldn't make it up a flight of stairs without feeling dizzy and totally winded. I, uh, I would go to work for about an hour and then say, I'm really tired. I think I'm going to crash for about 15 minutes. And I'll wake up like three or four hours later. Um, I was getting lots of headaches. So I thought, man, maybe now I should go see somebody. Because <laughs> I'm just a little bit stubborn. So I finally broke down and I went to a neurologist and she said, yeah, you know, you've sustained a traumatic brain injury. Your brain is swollen and it's been bleeding and you have to rest. And I said, all right. And she was a CrossFitter, so this is kind of cool. And I said, so this is what I do. I do endurance mountain bike racing and I CrossFit and now I like to, you know, punch people. And, uh, and she said, I said, what can I do? What can I do? And she said, yeah, no, don't get your heart rate up. Don't strain and lift heavy weights. In fact, can you lessen your hours at work? Can you have no screen time? Limit your texting? Really? I was like, well, I, I don't know. I suppose I could do all that. It left me in a bad position. Because I was, I was at this sort of peak of my training. I was busy. I had lots of hours. I was feeling really good and really strong. And work was busy, and I had things to do. I was changing careers. I had movement. So now I was faced with, what am I going to do? What do I do if I'm not doing? And who am I going to be if I'm not doing? Then Corey came to me and he said, you know, Rice, it's, it's okay. You don't have to push the mute button. You can just turn down the volume on the knob. What volume knob? <laughs> I didn't know I had one. I didn't know it existed. I just knew that there was like a power button and it was on and it was off. <laughs> off was when I was sleeping and when it was on, I just know that it was loud. That's about all I had. And then I remembered something Shauna had said to me. Um, I think I made a post at one point on Facebook about, about my frustrations with not being able to train and, and be busy. And she said, Rice, this could be a good time for you to slow down and, and meditate and, and read and kind of go within. Really? <laughs> that was uncomfortable. But I kind of thought about it, and I liked the idea of that better than turning down the volume, because that that's just so uncomfortable for me. So I thought, I know, I have an idea. Why don't I throw myself into, why don't I give 100% like I like to do, or maybe 110% into this new idea of slowing down? <laughs> of being more quiet, of being still and listening. 